Hi, I'm Kara Pagreba. Welcome to Bright Hope Creations. Today, I'm making a graduation card using Lawn Fawn's Be Happy, So Smooth, Simply Celebrate Spring. And I'm using many sentiments, but I'm going to start with this um, Happy from Be Happy and Graduation from Happy, Happy, Happy. And I'm also using their banner die. And this banner die uh, folds so it has some score lines on it, you'll see. And I curved my sentiment on the misty so that it would curve along the line of the cut of the die. And I'm going to white heat emboss it. So I put Versamark ink and then uh, Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail embossing powder, heated that up to melt it, and now I'm putting on some Distress Oxide ink in Twisted Citron. And then I'll come in with Mowed Lawn. And I use typing paper, when I think about it, to keep my fingers from getting too inky and transferring that ink onto other parts of the project. So this is the mowed lawn, and I'm putting it on the ends of the banner because they will be folded back behind. So they'll, I want them to look darker because they're in the background. And I'm also putting ink on the bottom portion of the banner. And then here's how we fold it forward and then back. And then on this side, my sentiment's a little longer than the score line. So I'm taking my fingernail and just kind of manipulating where that fold line is going to be and then folding that back. I also put some Distress ink on the back of this banner so that you wouldn't see white. Now we're using the Simply Sentiments, and this is Thinking of You, and that's the G and the O from Of, And then this is an uh, thankful for you, and this is the four. Then back to thinking of you, the TH. So it says go forth. Then I'll use from rub a dub dub the relax and enjoy, the and. And from the let's play stamp set make from you make life fun. And then this is from so smooth. This is were from Don't Worry, Be Happy. And that's an exclamation point, just the top of it, from Elf, uh, from How You Been. And then back to Don't Worry, Be Happy, the E from B. And then the D from Don't. And these, I put some tape around the ones I wasn't going to use so that they wouldn't get inked up as I went along. This is P from Be Happy, and then from Elfie Selfie, that's an S that matches the size of the P, and back with an exclamation point. Same one from how you've been. Now I'll use a Copic Multi Liner in a point three to connect the R with the L and then the E. I'm stamping out everything in uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink, And here it's because I want to color with Copics. And I'm starting to color in the liquid for my world (laughs) piece. And I want to make it look like there's an ellipse or a a very narrow oval at the top just to give it the idea that that's the top of the liquid. So I kind of found where that was. And then with my next darker color, gave it kind of a a line around. And then I came down to shade the side and I liked it so I came in with my darker YG05 to shade and I'm blending that out into the middle with the YG03. <clears throat> and then I'll blend that with the YG01 but I'm going to leave a small white area to look like the glass, the reflection in the glass. And you could also do that with a white gel pen after you're done. Now I'm putting some peas into the liquid that will whirl around and they were kind of light so I came in with a darker one 
Now, I wanted it this dark. It looks a little too dark, but I will blend them in now with my P liquid. <laughs> so the YG05 and then the YG03 in the middle and the YG01 in the lightest spots. And what that does is it takes the dark green dots from looking like they're sitting on top of the image. So now they're blended like they're part, they're blended into the image and they're, they look more like they're in the liquid. To make it look a little more like glass, I'm coming in with a B quadruple zero and just putting some lines down to give it that glass-like look. And then I'm going to color the base and I'm keeping that neutral because I would like the green pea mixture. Ugh, it sounds terrible, but I would like that to be uh, the focus. So I'm not doing anything too fancy with the base, but I want it to uh, show that the knobs and switches are forward of the base and the feet are a little bit behind or in back of the front of the base. So that's why I'm using the lighter colors for the forward places and the darker ones on what I want in the back. And I think the C6 is as dark as I go on this one, just to get the shadows in there. Not too much. I blend it back in with the C5, and I think my lightest on the dark spots are the C4. So I blend it in with that. And I wanted those switches to stand out a little bit more, so after this I come back in with the C5 to give it a little more shadow. All right, so now we're starting with the mortar boards, and these are so cute. They're a part of the Simply Celebrate Spring uh, stamp set from Lawn Fawn, and those hats perfectly are perfectly sized for the peas, so I thought that was so great. Now I'm only showing you coloring for the first three hats, I colored all five as we went along, but I realized that they're the same. So if you see the three, you've seen all five. So C8 is the darkest color that I'm going to use for these hats. And C6 is my lightest, and they're small images, so I figured out my shadows with the C6. I liked them, I came in with the C8. I'm blending them out with the C6. And then, like I said, that's kind of a small area, so it doesn't need a lot of blending. From You want the dark to really look dark, and that's the contrast to the light. So I didn't blend with the medium, with the C7. So I'm coming back in to get those uh, darkest shadows back in because they got blended out with the C6. And then a couple areas I felt I needed to blend them out again with the C6. Now here's my, well, it's my practice P, if you will. And so I colored him, but this is the way I will color all the P's. So this is the one I'm showing you because they're all the same. So YG01, 03, and 05. And really with the shadow, I'm just making like a C shape in the lower left corner. Here I come in with that G07, but I found that it kind of bled once I started really blending in the corner. So on my other piece that end up on the main panel, I don't even go in with the 07 because I don't want I don't want to risk the bleeding. It's funny because I don't really get much bleeding on this cardstock. It's Georgia Pacific, 110 pound which the 110 is not thick. It's just that's the name. So I anyway, I cut them out. I um, went around with a brush tip marker. And now I'm adjusting to see where I want to stamp my little pea guys. 
so I'm putting the hats where they, their heads would go, and it's just a matter of placing them on there and stamping them out. So yeah, I usually don't have any bleeding issues, so I don't know if it's the G07. Maybe I'll practice with that a little bit. And I colored them up, as you saw on the practice P. And now I'm going to just put their faces on, and these faces come with the Be Happy stamp set. So these P's are very excited. So two of them have their mouths open, they're happy. And this guy has a little smirk on his face. He's proud of himself for graduating. And then a couple of peas with eyeglasses. And then I cut this out with a stitched rectangle. And I cut a light green stitched rectangle, a little bit bigger, and put it on a top folding dark green card. And I'm adhering them down. And I put the banner on with some foam tape so it's raised a bit and I also put the blender on with some foam tape and now it's time to put those mortar boards on the peas and they are also raised with some, a little bit of foam tape and just need to adjust them a little you want to see their faces And here's a step. If you did not want to cut out these mortar boards, you could have uh, masked, uh, stamped the mortar boards on the page and then masked them and then put the peas, stamp them over that. I'm coming in with a white gel pen to show uh, movement, uh, that they are jumping up and down and that that hat is being tossed into the air. And then my card is done. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a very happy day.